Hi, my name is Dr. Robert Gilliland. I am board certified in integrative medicine and the author of the book, The Hashimoto Survival Guide. If you're watching this video, you or someone you care about has foot and or leg pain that is being caused by pressure on the nerves, specifically the nerve root in your lumbar spine. This is a common problem. Over 20 million Americans suffer with this condition. And I am going to discuss in detail what you can do about it. But first, I want you to see the big picture. And that is this, you have the pain because your nerves are being crowded and you have to create more space. So regardless of what caused the space issue, whether it was a disc protrusion, arthritis, bone spurs, or stenosis, you have to create more space for your nerves. While it's also important to strengthen your core to stabilize the area, the big picture is you have to create more space. So how do you create more space? Well, you can go in and surgically remove something. You can use spinal decompression to pump more fluids into the disc, or you can increase your circulation and decrease the inflammation using pulsed electromagnetic field therapy. But the bottom line is you have to create more space for your nerves. Now, a common misconception is that something is actually pressing up, the ger pressing up against the nerve, pinching it. However, According to research, the weight of a dime would kill a nerve, which would result in numbness, not pain. So if something were actually putting enough pressure on the nerve to, to pinch it, it would kill the nerve, giving you numbness, not pain. What's really happening here is that your nerve is being encroached upon by inflammation. Now, I'm not saying that a disc or bone spur wasn't the reason or wasn't causing the problem but they aren't actually pinching against the nerve. They are simply taking up some of the available space. But if you decrease the inflammation, the pain will stop. And the amount of extra space that you need to accomplish this is minimal. And that's why I have stopped using spinal decompression and started using PEMF therapy. If you've never heard of PEMF therapy, don't feel bad. Your doctor probably has never heard of it either. It usually takes about 13 years before new information trickles down and is actually implemented in your local doctor's office. But because I have a concierge practice, meaning that insurance doesn't cover my services, I have to stay on top of things and offer the best available care possible so that my patients can get out of pain, get some sleep, and go back to work to support their family. And that's why I read the journals, go to seminars, and consult with other integrative practitioners on a regular basis so that I can offer the latest cutting edge therapies to ensure that my patients don't continue to suffer physically or financially. Now you may pay out of pocket for my services, but when you consider the alternatives, the loss of income from not being able to work or the cost of hospital bills, it just makes sense. It's more practical. Now, a lot of information I'm going to share with you will be new, and I, but I will try to explain how it works in the best way possible to, to provide you with the information you need to make the best decision for you. I will also provide the details of the research studies so that you can make an informed decision. Now, I've had healthcare training in traditional medicine, alternative medicine, and integrative medicine. I've worked in the operating room and I have worked as a chiropractor before moving on into uh, integrative medicine. So I'm familiar with most of the common options available. And based on this knowledge, I would recommend PEMF therapy for anyone suffering from lumbar radiculopathy, unless you have a pacemaker, cochlear implant, insulin pump, or some other electronic device inserted in your body. In which case I would recommend spinal decompression as PEMF therapy could possibly interfere with these electronic devices. So why PEMF therapy over all the other, over all the other options? First of all, there's been a ton of research done on PEMF therapy. You can search PubMed and read hundreds of studies. NASA conducted a study and concluded that nanopulse electromagnetic therapy to be at least four times better than any other electric or, or magnetic therapy at healing tissue. It's non-invasive and pain-free. You simply lay on a mat and the magnetic field uh, increases the blood flow, decreases the inflammation, and energizes the cell. It's just more practical. If you're in pain, you want to get out of pain as quickly as possible. With PEMF therapy, roughly 90% of the patients report 
uh, pain relief after just one session, which means that you can skip the epidural injections. And you want to save money. PMF therapy is usually less expensive than spinal decompression. You want your results to be permanent. I use PMF therapy along with neurometabolic approach, which has a systemic effect, meaning that your results have a better chance of being permanent. PEMF therapy alone dilates the blood vessels. It increases the circulation and energizes the cells by donating electrons, causing an antioxidant effect, which gives the cells the energy that they need to function properly. For example, let's say you give uh, your liver cells more energy. They may use this energy to uh, detox, or they may use this energy to store glycogen, or they may use the energy to make proteins. If you give uh, energy to a brain cell. That brain cell may use the energy to release more uh, neurotransmitters or, or create more synapses. In other words, by giving your cells more energy, they can do the job at hand. Just think about it. What would you do if you had more energy? You may use that energy to play golf, spend more time with your kids or grandkids, or go on a vacation. Energy is just simply a means to an end. With enough energy, your body can repair almost anything. And the benefits are not limited to just one area. It's systemic. So let's say, uh, like most people today, you have other health issues. Wouldn't it make sense to use a therapy that would not only uh, relieve your pain, but also help with things like in, uh, insomnia, anxiety, wound healing, depression, or osteoarthritis? It's a no-brainer, right? And those are just a few of, the th few of the things that studies suggest that PMF therapy can help you with. PEMF therapy has been used in Europe for over 30 years. It's been cleared by the FDA for such things as non-union fractures, cancer, and uh, post-operative pain and edema. Health Canada has approved PEMF therapy for depression in people who failed to respond to medication. There have been thousands of studies on PEMF therapy on, those, on almost every conceivable condition or malady known to man. So, it only makes sense to use a therapy that can not only address your main issue, your pain, but also help with other conditions as well. And there exists the possibility that your leg and foot pain may not stem from lumbar radiculopathy, even when an MRI would suggest that it does. I've seen people get back surgery where the surgeon successfully corrects the space issue and the person still has pain because what appeared to be a problem was not the problem. Sometimes the bulging discs are asymptomatic, meaning that they aren't causing pain. You may have the pain that suggests a problem in the lumbar spine, and the, MR, or the MRI may show a bulging disc, which would seem to explain the pain, but it could be a, co it could be a total coincidence. You could have peripheral neuropathy, which causes the same type of leg and foot pain. So just be careful. If we did an MRI on everyone over the age of 40, almost everyone's going to have a bulging disc. So, let's say that this is a case for you. And if it is, PEMF therapy is the only option I've mentioned that will address both problems. Which is another very good reason why you should choose PEMF as your first choice in, for uh, leg and foot pain. Look folks, I originally purchased my PEMF therapy device for my patients who weren't responding to care. And these weren't, pain, these weren't pain patients. These were people with unresolved thyroid issues, uh, diabetes, autoimmune conditions, who weren't responding to care because they couldn't take in the nutrition that, that they needed to make the repairs or push out the toxins because they had low cellular energy. And by adding this PMF therapy into their program, it gave them the energy that they needed. So this therapy is not limited to just the low back. It has global effects. Here's what researchers say magnetic fields are doing inside your body. In this mat, there are electrical coils. And when electricity passes through it, it creates a magnetic field that moves through the body and interacts with the cells, going deep into the body, places where sports creams and other things could never reach. For example, down around the spine, where that red angry area is, when the magnetic field turns on, it activates these uh, ions or charged particles. And there's proteins in there and there's signals in there, in there and it stirs these things up 
and these charged particles bring in nutrients and it also begins to influence things like uh, blood supply. Now when red blood cells are going through an inflamed area, they are stacked like coins and they're not supposed to be stacked like that, but when they're irritated that happens. But when you pass magnetic field through there, it opens up the blood vessels, it breaks apart these blood cells so that they're not stacked like coins so that they can go get in and, uh, for deeper healing and better oxygen uh, supply so that the healing process can take place. So you don't just feel better, you are better. Now the magnetic fields affect the nerve cells because the nerve cells are electrical cells and the magnetic fields can actually affect how the nerves fire to quiet them down without using drugs like morphine or oxycodone or epidur epidural injections. If you would like more information on this therapy, go to my website at www.benitaspringspemf.com or, or if you want, you can read some of the hundreds of studies in the literature. Simply go to uh, PubMed and type in PEMF. Uh, for those of you who did not see this video before going into surgery, PEMF therapy has been approved for, or FDA approved for post-surgical pain and edema. So it can still be beneficial to you as well. In fact, a clinic uh, in Texas showed that spinal fusion of the lumbar spine in conjunction with PEMF therapy improved success rates from 52.6% without PEMF therapy to 97.6% with PEMF therapy. So, if you've had back surgery and you're still in pain, PEMF therapy can still be beneficial. If you would like to try PEMF therapy for yourself, call my office at 239-444-3106 and schedule your, your appointment. And if you mentioned that you saw this video, the first session is free. So call now, 239-444-3106.